data types in X++ programming language. So X++ data type are basically divided into primitive data types and of a composite data types and you can also create other data type like extended data types and base in them in X++ which are built on a primitive data type. So extended data types and base in enums are basically built on a primitive data type. This can be created only in a AOT or application object and not as a language construct. The primitive data types in X++ are listed in the following table. So these are the primitive data types that we are going to learn in our coming lessons. So the first one is the any type, a placeholder for any data type, which means that any data type can hold uh, any data type. And the next is a booleans, and booleans can contain only the false and true value. So by default, it's a false value. And another we have a dates. Dates contains day, month, and a year. And next data type is enums, and enums as set of a literals uh, or a constant value or a value that cannot be change next we have our uh, guids a global unique identifier which means we can create a unique identifier using guids and the next one is we have uh, integers or uh, numbers without a decimal point so integers are a number basically without a decimal point and next we have another data type is a uh, reals a real is a number with a decimal point, also called, called as a decimals. So in X++, we call as a real. And, it's, and in other programming language, we call as a decimals, like Java or c we call as a decimals. And the next data type we have here is a strings, a number of a character, a collection of a character or a group of a character, basically known as a string. So next we have a date and time that contains hours, minute, and seconds. And next we have a UTC date and time. So contain year, month, day, hour, minute, and a second. So these are the primitive data types in X++. And in our coming lesson, next lesson, we'll go and take one by one in our practical and we'll see what are these data types and how we are going to create and declare them and how we are going to utilize them in our code. So I hope you guys had some basic understanding on data types in X++, primitive data types. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.